Hi guys, my name is Kemi and I'm the founder of Gazelle London and you're watching Afrocentricity. Um, I was born in London um, and I guess the first time I went back to Africa, specifically Nigeria, was when I was 15 years old. Um, at that point, um, it wasn't the first time I'd been there before um, and it was quite a contrast to what I'd seen in the UK. Um, and I went off and on between 15 and 21 um, and in between that I just, I, I did my undergrad, I did my postgrad and I worked for some great companies. Um, some of them were all ones like ITV and then I later worked uh, for Time Out magazine. Um, but I got a bit ill around 2013, 2014 um, and so I took some time out and I decided to do some travelling and that's when I really got to see what Africa was like and what it had to offer. Um, since then I have seen so many different cultures that are not just relevant to Nigeria but are, to, are relevant to all different countries across Africa and I guess the vibrancy, the colour and the cultures that I've seen um, inspired me to start my own business. Uh, I think because my dad is Nigerian, he's a traditional Nigerian man, um, and so he's very confident um, and he's very bold and he instilled that in all of his children. Uh, all my older brothers and sister, um, they're all very confident individuals. Um, but I think initially I took on my mum's personality, so I was a bit introverted growing up. Um, but then having kind of, like I said, travelled and seen uh, the African continent and seen how confident everyone was, not necessarily in the loud and gregarious way that some Nigerians can be, but also in a calm and kind of quiet way as well, um, I realised I needed to be more confident in the way that I was living my life. So. Good question. Good question. <laughs> um, I think, you know, Gazelle London was like super organic, so whenever, whenever anyone asks me how it started, I always find it really hard to answer. Um, I would say, like I said, I did a, quite a bit of traveling on the continent and for me I've been journaling since I was about seven years old um, and because I was quite introverted it gave me a lot of um, uh, reflective time and a lot of clarity um, and I would use kind of my journals to write my dreams my visions um, and it just helped me achieve so many goals in my life so um, I guess the traveling paired with my love for writing and reflection just kind of came together and it formed Gazelle London and I didn't expect it to gain some of the support it did, but I'm really thankful that it has. I knew, when I knew Gazelle London was, 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 was going to happen, even if it was in a small way, I realised like I needed, I needed a name. And with me, I'm usually, I'm very creative, so I'm usually very good at coming up with stuff like names, but um, I couldn't find one. And um, I had, at that time, I had uh, the manufacturer that I was working with um, was like, yeah, so, you know, we need your logo. And at that point, I just, I got my knees and I said, God, <laughs> I need a name. <laughs> so I said, God, I'm going to open the Bible and whatever name my eyes land on, um, I'm going to choose. So I opened the Bible and it landed on Gazelle. And I did a, a Google of Gazelle and it meant, um, it was, it represented everything that I wanted. So it was an animal in Africa. It meant peace. It meant op open space. It was beautiful. Um, and it was also a company that turned over a lot of money. So I thought... God knew what he was doing when he gave me gazelle, so I, I took him. I mean, you know, I was talking to you and I was in Africa and the gazelle started kissing me. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry, so sorry to disappoint. No, no, it's fine, it's no, fine. God it's gave cool. it to me. It's perfect. <laughs> um, I think, I mean, Western society has got extremely diverse. It's been extremely diverse for a while, um, but not necessarily with influences from Africa. So growing up, there were influences from the Caribbean and other places around the world, you know, China, et cetera. Um, and there just hasn't been an African stamp the way it is now. But I think kind of with the Afrobeat era and, and all of that kind of stuff coming up, it's really given scope for companies like mine to kind of feel confident in, in, in putting themselves out there and, and I guess connecting with people. I think it's a time when people are very ready to to embrace their culture and embrace other cultures. So companies like Gazelle London are, aren't just attractive to other Africans, but just to people worldwide. It's been amazing. It's been amazing, and I've been I've been really blessed. I'm really lucky to have 
I get emails, I get people coming up to me, I get messages, and I'm so thankful. It seems like they're having a good, a great impact. People are really excited that there's a product out there that is just representing them and that is bold and it's vibrant. Um, and I think the whole, like you were saying, the whole Afro movement anyway is, is more than just um, a brand or a product. It's like, it's a lifestyle. So it's fashion, it's music, it's everything. And I think people are ready to kind of embody that. And so um, I hope that my journals kind of encourage people to, to live boldly and, and I'm really thankful that they love them. Okay. Um, well, I mean, in October, we're going to be popping up at Topshop in Oxford Circus. And so we're super excited to do that because it means we get access to a whole new group of people who we hope loves Gazelle London as well. Um, in you the next. Us. You hmm? You can invite us to that. <laughs> yeah. I will. Oh, that'd be great. I, I don't know if they'll let you. Anyway, well, do they let you film now? <laughs> we'll figure something out. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, so Topshop, looking forward to that. Um, popping up there. Obviously, Christmas is coming. We're, we're looking to do some great collaborations with other um, Afro centered businesses. And so that's going to be really exciting. And hopefully, within the next six to nine months, I hope to have like a permanent type pop up. So we're hoping to have like a shop in Box Park for about a month or two months to see how it goes and trial it. So it's just about building new collections, impacting as many people as possible and just getting the word out. Uh, you can catch us uh, on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook um, at gazelle underscore London. Lovely speaking with you. You too. Episode.